So our first two Idaho egg, it's this one. This is like a hot knife through butter. I'm thinking it's gonna be all quartz. Let's see. Oh, it's a sweet geode quartz nodule. That is awesome. That is pretty cool. You know, if it was just a quartz nodule, it would have been, oh, it's a quartz nodule. But because it's a geode, it's better because crystals are awesome. <laughs> That's a good start. I gave you a little sneak peek on the window on this guy. So let's hopefully get some bands. Oh, yes. Oh, there's that fracture in there, man. What a stinker bean. Oh, but those bands are sweet. So cool. Oh, very, very opaque. So pretty. So cool. We're off to a great start. And we have so many funky, crazy cool nodules that we're going to be cutting open in this video. Do me a huge favor. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe or follow button so you can join us on more fun cutting adventures. But let's cut open a few more of these funny funky little nodules we got a few of them so we'll cut these four and then we'll show you This one and this one were the harder ones. This one was like a hot knife through butter, so I'm guaranteeing that one's a quartz ball. I can kind of see there's some bands around the outside right there. I'm trying not to peek at it, but it's just wiggling around. So let's check this one out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those water level bands. I don't even know how to hold this thing like that. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Those bands are so beautiful. I've made a bunch of uh, short content cutting these Idaho agates. This is the first longer video of doing it. And the theme that I get with these is they have a lot of water level bands. They're so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I love that one. That's probably my favorite one so far. Here's this guy right here. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. the vibrant, make a heart because we love it, right? Those vibrant white bands inside there. Get that polished up, that depth of those bands running through. Holy moly. Uh, let's see this bigger one. Oh, I didn't catch it. Didn't catch it. Let's see. Same thing. <laughs> Some water level bands. That's so neat. I like how it's kind of bubbly here on this one. That is so cool. All right, let's check out this. <laughs> the most likely quartz ball is so quick. Oh, oh, it's a G. Oh my, sorry. There is some purple in here, folks. That's, it's so light, but it looks like there's some purple around there. So maybe some light amethyst in there. Beautiful geode agate. Got the agate bands, quartz, geode pocket light amethyst oh my goodness even down here at the end it's got some water level bands oh gosh that is so cool and it makes a heart love it so these are the next egg and nodules that are up for slicing I'm very excited as always right because you never know what's inside and this is so fun but before we cut them i just wanted you to know where i got these from I got these from my friend Braxton. He goes by Marler Mining on all the socials. I'm gonna have the links to his stuff in the description box below. He has some fun cutting and finding content that he puts out there. And he's thinking about making a channel to make some longer content. No pressure, dude. <laughs> but I'm trying to cheer him on to do it. I think it would be so fun to see him doing his thing. 
out there in Idaho. But yeah, he sent these over for me to cut, and they are so... This one looks like a little turkey! <laughs> Not like with the feathers, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, he sent these over for us to cut. It's been so fun doing so. So yeah, please go check them out, and cheer them on in the comments below. Let them know, hey, Braxton, we want to see your content, you know? It'd be fun. You find stuff a lot bigger than this. I specifically asked him for smaller stuff uh, so that I can cut and polish easily. So he finds stuff like way bigger than this. So go check out his content. But we'll cut these, we'll cut and show you as we're doing it, each individual one. And the inside. No, oh, interesting. I was gonna say that was a super quick cut. That makes total sense. This is quartz, and I don't know what this is, like light moss, I guess? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Man! <laughs> I was thinking we were gonna get some water level bands, but no. You got a full pattern there, and just stinker head to fracture. It's not too bad. We'll be able to make kind of a rounded face polish with that guy. But jeez, those are sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sun is breaking out all over. <laughs> you can see it's got these deep fractures in there. Man, I was just like trying to hold it together. The whole thing is just falling apart on me. <laughs> Hey, you can see that really clean fracture. Man, didn't stand a chance. We'll do this one, and then we'll cut the, the little gobbler. Cracking the shell a little bit. <laughs> oh gosh, let's see, how do we... All right, let's take a peek. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, get out of here. That is so pretty. This is probably one of my favorites I've ever cut open from these Idaho agates. That is so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, that's gonna be fun to polish. Wow, that is awesome. I think I think that's my favorite. Tied, maybe tied for fav my favorite with uh, that that other one. Gosh, with this one right here. Well, now that I put them next to each other, nope. This is my favorite. I like this one the best. This is so so beautiful. How awesome is that sweet Idaho agate nodule? Let's cut our little gobbler now. <laughs> Well, the gobbler was a quick cut. I'm gonna say it's quartz inside. <laughs> I just gotta keep saying that, and then that way <laughs> we get uh, these geode agates. That's pretty, and it does have very, very light bands, so geode agate. So we have four more, what I'm hoping are really fun cutters. These are the, ones I've wanted to cut from this batch. I have more of these, so there's gonna be more Idaho agate cutting videos in the future, but we got this like double stack, double bubble nodule. Gosh, I wanna cut it just right through here. You can see there's some bands right there. You could cut it right there too. That'd be pretty funky. Uh, I don't know, I'll think about that one. <laughs> uh, we got this one right here. This is a bit of an awkward nodule. Uh, I'm not sure how to cut this one. Actually, no, I see bands right here. Got some bands running through there. We'll cut it right through there. And then these two, this one I'm thinking, it's either gonna be really quartzy or a lot of like light bands. This is the last one we're gonna cut. This hefty Idaho egg and nodule. Look at this funky husk. It's like it slipped off. See that? It's like it, it's intact, but it's like it slipped off. How cool is that? So we'll save this hefty, hefty chunker for last. But yeah, we'll cut, uh, cut it in order like that. All right. 
let's check out this funky little module. Oh, dang! Oh my gosh, those white bands are so crazy. Wow. Wow, that is, that is so pretty. Holy moly, that is sweet. I can't wait to polish that. That's going to be fun. I didn't, ex I, I figured there'd be water level bands because there's kind of that hint of it right here, but I didn't think it'd be that good. That is, that is very, very beautiful. <laughs> That's sweet. That was a very hard cut. High hopes, high hopes. Oh, not disappointed, just intrigued. Quartz with kind of ghostly bands on the outside. That is cool. I like that. It's not as vibrant as some other agates and stuff, but it's unique. I like it. I'm surprised it was that hard with that quartz in there. Looks like ice. So, so pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Now the funky one. The funkiest of all so far. I don't know where to cut this, to be honest. I cut like that. Maybe get that full pattern. Or kind of like this right through those two and risk them fracturing. I think it'd be kind of cooler if it had like that on one end and that on the other end. Let's do that. We'll just play it safe. I don't want it to fracture and lose that. That's pretty cool. Should have cut it the other way instead of this thin part on the end. Let's, let's find out. Yeah, one piece that kind of fractured off there, and I was like, oh, snap, it's going to be sweet. Oh, it is sweet. That is so, so pretty. So white. It's got some depth over here. You polish that up. It's going to look so, so pretty. <laughs> That's cool. Reminds me of like a Star Wars ship or something on the side, like, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe not. But yeah, those are really sweet bands. Kind of faint down in here, but really nice up there. This has been such a fun batch of Idaho agates. Oh, love it. It's so much fun. So as always, I'm cutting on my high-tech diamond 10-inch lapidary saw. This is the thick centered blade because I've had some bigger cuts especially this guy. And I haven't used a thick citron centered <laughs> blade as much, so I'm trying to, you know, use it, try it out some more. And um, it has its pros, it has its cons. It takes a little longer to cut, but I feel like it doesn't leave as much surface fracture. So we're trying new stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it, if you've ever used it or anything like that. And if you guys want to check out my saw, with the thick centered blade or any of their models, I use all of them, the four slash five inch, the six inch and this 10 inch, all that's gonna be linked in the description box as well. But oh, we are gonna cut this big Idaho agate next. I don't know, think about going like this. I just don't want it to like fracture out on this end. I'd rather it like fracture out over here, I feel like. Yeah, let's do that. Start like that and then we'll We'll see how it turns out. Let's take a peek at this hefty Idaho agate nodule. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually surprised again. It was that hard of a cut. It's got a ton of quartz in there with these water level bands down here. You can see it's got some of these natural fractures in there. Man. That's pretty though. That's very pretty. 
Unique how it's such just a beautiful fine line between the Aga bands and the chords. I really like that. Not at all disappointed. Not at all. So happy with that. So here's all of our dried up Idaho agate nodules. And I really think this one right here with all of those beautiful bands is my favorite. I absolutely love this. I can't wait to polish this. I really hope to polish all of these someday because they're all so beautiful. 